everyone, Jordan here from Night Car Life, and um, I'm currently filming on the iPhone. And uh, today we are starting the Lancer respray process. So, as you can see here, we've got the rear of the car, uh, so the rear bumper and everything like that, ready for paint. We've sanded it down, and we have masked up the tail lights and everything like that um, to get it all sorted. So that car is supported off the little little gift there. So thanks for doing that. Um, but yeah, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to paint the car in sky blue. Um, this is the car that we're going to do. So yeah, really, really exciting. Yeah, sorry guys, the GoPro is currently charging at the moment. So we're just, we're just filming on the iPhone at the moment. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to paint the rear bumper first in sky blue, um, just to see how the, how good the color is going to be and kind of practice with the sandpaper and everything like that. So yeah, so today we've already, we've gone to super cheap. We've got all the parts we need, all the sandpaper, all that good stuff. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to paint the rear bumper in colour, in sky blue, and um... Sponsored by Australian Export. Yeah, we're not sponsored, but it's all good. <laughs> I wish we were. So yeah, basically that's what we're going to do today. We just went and got all the parts, um, you know, going to do the bumper, see how it turns out, see how the colour looks, and then for the rest of the respray process, we're going to be, you know, tackling the roof really, getting that flat, getting it properly done, um, and then obviously going over the whole car, but... but yeah, anyway, so we're going to get started on the rear bumper and see how it turns out. Hey everyone, so the GoPro is all charged up now and we've ended up finishing the rear bumper. Um, really sorry about the lack of footage for, you know, starting this off and, and how dodgy it was with the enough. iPhone. Yes. Sorry. Not good enough, no. I know, disgusting. <laughs> um, well, anyway, um, here, here's how it is at the moment. Um, the reason why we started on the rear bumper is just because I wanted to see, like, get an idea on what the color would look like, just in case I won't be happy with it or anything like that. Um, and plus I wanted to get some practice with sandpaper and see how we go. Um, so yeah, there is a few spots on the bumper that like, um, do need, I do need to go over again. Um, as you can see, there's like a few rough patches here and there that need to be sanded over a bit better. Um, but overall, overall it does look really good and just, just the, the base coat itself is already so glossy, um, and shiny. I know the paint's a bit wet, but, um, yeah, the base coat itself looks really, really good. Um, and yeah, I can't get over it. So yeah, I'm just going to leave it at the rear bumper here for today. Um, and yeah, basically the next plan is going to be, um, I'm pretty much just going to sand over um, the entire car. So I've got to obviously start sanding this side. I'm probably going to do this side first. Um, fix up any imperfections, like anything up here. There's a bit of, you know, dry patches and like just random stuff that's gotten into the primer that needs to be taken care of. But yeah, once all of this is sanded down uh, and all cleaned up, then we'll start applying the, uh, the sky blue color all over this as well. Um, and then obviously over the rest of the car and i'm probably going to do the roof last um it depends uh the roof is just going to be a bit tricky because as you can see it needs some rust converter it needs the bog to be sanded fully flat um and then the whole roof needs to be reprimed as well so the roof is going to be a big job so yeah i'm not sure if i'm going to do the roof first thing or if i'm going to leave it till last but yeah as of right now i think that's how i'm going to do the how, how i'm going to continue on just by doing around the whole car first Hey everyone, so we're back and it's day two on the Lancer and what I've done at the moment is um, I basically started to wipe down this whole side of the car just to get it ready for some sanding. So yeah, it's been a very long time since the car's been in primer. Um, I'd say probably since like October last year and lockdown around there. So yeah, it's basically gone really dirty over that time and I've only washed it a handful of times over that, that period. So yeah, let's just say the car was filthy. So it's, and the thing is with primer, dirt and everything like that sticks to it a lot, a lot more and it's a lot harder to get out. So I, I did my best, but you know, even if, look at these bits that I haven't washed, you can just see how dirty it is. Like it, everything just sticks to the primer. It's pretty bad. See, I've gotten most of the dirt off just by washing it, but um, you know, at least when I'm gonna be sanding the car, you know, uh, most of it will come off anyway. So what I wanna do, I wanna use the electric sander and go really hard on this area right here, which is, as you can see, it's very, very dry and rough and it's got this white stuff on it. I don't even know what that is. Um, but it definitely needs a big go over there. Um, and then I think I'm gonna wet sand with 240 grit sandpaper by hand, uh, block in hand, this entire side of the car here, just wet, but wet sand it with a block 240, this whole entire bit here. Same with this, and um, on the bonnet on this area here, um, I didn't sand it that great the first time around, so I need to use the electric sander again, um, and I'm just gonna really go hard on this, this patch over here, because this is where it was really faded back in the day. Um, and if you look really closely, I'm not sure if you can see on camera, you can still just see a bit of the fade. So I wanna make sure I sand all of that out and get that out. So yeah, I'm gonna go really hard there, and then for the rest of the car, It'll just be regular wet sand 240 um, over the primer. And yeah, I'm just gonna go over the whole front. So the goal for today is I'm gonna try and see if I can get 
this whole side of the car painted along with the front uh, the whole front side so the front bumper and the bonnet and if i have time we'll see how we go um we may even be able to do this side as well um so yeah fingers crossed but it's going to be a lot of a lot of hard work a lot of time um and yeah i'll show you guys how the back turned out all right so this is the rear bumper um after being left overnight to dry and i can't get over how good this color looks like it's so shiny and it's just the base coat um so there's no clear coat yet and it's already got a bit of a shine to it and it's just such a nice light bright blue it's beautiful yeah it actually turned out so so good um and don't worry that's not runs it's literally just water because i just washed the car so it's a little bit a little bit wet um so yeah honestly can't turn can't get over how good it turned out and the whole car is just gonna look crazy like there's not many cars out there with this color um so it's definitely gonna stand out it's definitely gonna be unique and yeah i just can't wait to see you know what the whole car is gonna look like so very excited all right so i'm gonna get into some sanding now and um, i'll catch up with you guys after hey everyone so it's been a couple of hours and i've just been at it sanding um and so far i've gotten this whole entire right side of the car like silky smooth completely that rough part patch here went over the electrical sander um and yeah that's just completely smooth um and yeah this whole entire right side of the car fully sanded down and smooth same with this right fender all smooth i went over the bonnet as well um and went over this bit here with the electrical sander as well and that's all completely smooth along with the front bumper as well all nice and smooth all the way along and that's just absolutely perfect so now all that's left really to sand is just the uh this left side of the car so we've got to sand all of this down and then i've got to sand the uh boot uh as well and the spoiler and once that's done i'm pretty sure we can we can sand the whole entire car i'm, I'm gonna leave the roof till tomorrow um so yeah this this roof is probably gonna take a whole day just because there's like you know i, I gotta sand down the bog flat you know re-primer it respray it all that stuff so and i've got to put rust converter and all that stuff so the roof is going to be a bit more time consuming but that's that's going to be a you know a job for tomorrow but fingers crossed today if i can keep keep up the good progress with my sanding fingers crossed we should be able to have the whole whole sides of the car except the roof obviously painted in this a lovely sky blue and if you're wondering like what color i got where where did i get the color from it's literally from super cheap auto um and i don't i don't even think it's like it literally says not suitable for automotive use but like look at this guys it looks it looks sick like with some clear coat over this i don't see why there would be any issues spraying this on a car i looked it up online and lots of people have used this for for cars and had really great results especially with uh with clear coat over it um so yeah even though it says not suitable for auto automotive use as you can see it looks sick it's a mad color and yeah with some clear coat over this there's I don't see why there would be any issues guys it'll be nice and shiny nice and bright and protected from all the elements as well so yeah it's looking like it's it's uh gonna be a great color and i definitely recommend you guys to use this as well and it's really cheap it's like four dollars ten and I, I got it for a special like three dollars ten so three dollars ten a can and you get this color and it's, it's literally like glossy as and shiny you know look at that it's literally got a shine on it and that's just base coat only so I can't wait to see what the rest of the car is going to look like. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep on sanding uh, this side of the car, and we're going to wait for that color support to turn up so she can, you know, get starting on masking up the entire car. Because as you guys might remember from the previous <laughs> respray episodes, I'm terrible at masking, so we'll get that color support to, you know, do some proper masking up. Um, but yeah, once she's masked everything up, everything should be ready for a wipe down and a respray. All right, guys, so that color support's finally arrived, and look what she's gotten us, guys. What have you gotten us? Leaf. Not sponsored by Leaf. Leaf coffee. Best coffees in the area. Seriously, best ones we've ever had in our lives. So if you guys want to have a cracker coffee, Leaf Cafe, Clampton Park. Clampton Park. Yeah, go right there. Through. It's the best. <laughs> and um, yeah, best coffee in the world. Anyway, um, so so far that kind of support uh, has arrived in the Tibi, which is over there. Sick. Um, anyway, so what she's doing now is she, that color support is masking up the entire car because um, pretty much everything is sanded. So um, I've basically sanded the entire car um, this whole left side, the front, everything's all silky, silky smooth. Um, all that's left right now is just the, the bonnet, not the bonnet, the boot. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm finishing now. I'm just, just sanding off the boot. Oh yeah, that color supports left a little, little mark there. Initials. Initials, there you go. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna finish off masking, um, masking. I'm gonna finish off sanding the boot, getting this all smooth, the spoiler. And once that's all done, we're just gonna finish uh, masking up the entire car. And once that's finished, guys, we can just paint the whole thing in one go. That's gonna be sick. All right, guys, so we just finished masking up this whole side of the car. Um, so this is what we're gonna paint first. So everything's been all wiped down and is all smooth as well. 
Um, so yeah, we're just gonna respray this whole entire right side all the way up to here. Um, and then we're gonna do a quick super cheap run in the tibi. And we're gonna go and grab some- uh, In the tibi? In the tibi, we're gonna hear the fat exhaust once again. Um, and yeah, well, then we'll just get some more wax and grease remover, some more uh, masking tape and stuff like that. Simba. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna, yeah, spray this side of the car and then head to Super Cheap while it's drying and then we'll finish the rest of the, uh, we'll finish the whole other side, but yeah, let's get to it. Alright guys, so we just finished painting the right side of the car and um Yeah, I've got I've got paint all over my face, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, um so yeah, finished the whole right side of the car. Um did quite a few coats um to get it finished, but yeah, overall there is some imperfections. Um and the can right at the end was splurting out all these like blobs. So as you can see, like yeah, all these like blobs came out of the paint can. So yeah, that's gonna have to get sanded down and redone. Um, along with, I think there's another run, I think there's a run right here. Um, but other than that, it's actually turned out pretty good. Um, so yeah, we'll wait for it to dry, sand back those little imperfections and redo them. Um, and yeah, then after that, we'll head to Super Cheap. Actually, no, sorry, now we're going to head down to Super Cheap, um, get some wax and grease remover and stuff like that. Uh, finish wiping down and painting all this stuff and hopefully we can get the whole car done. All right, guys, so we're going to head to Super Cheap in the TV. Let's see this thing's cold start. How good this thing sounds oh yeah and guys i'm paying for all of this paint and everything with a super cheap super size gift card which is oh. crazy all right guys so we've got the masking tape wax and grease remover and now we're gonna get a hungry jacks bursty because we're craving it and um yeah yeah <laughs> give it a hit first gear left lane Hey guys, so it's day three and that car life support and I have been masking up the car to get it ready for paint. Um, so from the last episode, what you guys would have seen is we started off doing the back bumper in sky blue and then we've done this whole entire right side of the car. And yesterday we did the bonnet and the front bar as well. Um, and I also did a bit of the front fender as well. Um, and yeah, so all we basically have left right now is just the side of the car and the boot. And then obviously the roof is gonna be last too. All right, so I don't really know how I feel about the paint yet, guys. Like, I don't know. It, it looks like it's a bit patchy in a few areas. I don't know if you can see on camera. Um, it, it is shiny, but it also is a bit patchy here and there. So, I don't know. I'm just, I'm hoping that the clear coat will really bring out the shine and make it look a lot better. But, I don't know if you can tell on camera. But, yeah, it just, when you go up close, it doesn't look perfect. Um, I don't know if it was just I didn't do enough sanding or I didn't sand it properly. I don't know what it is. But, yeah, it doesn't look perfect. But, I guess from a distance, it looks really good. Like, if I come out here... It looks, it looks so much better. You know what it looks like from out there? What? Go Parramatta <laughs> Yeah, we had someone walking past and they're like, Oh, are you making a Parramatta Eels car? I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll see what, what it looks like when all the, when the whole car's in colour and we'll see how I feel. Um, but no matter what, it's going to look way better than what it did before. Um, and look, I wasn't really expecting a perfect job anyway. It's just a daily, it's just a cheap car. I just want it to be all one colour, you know, and that's all I really care about. I don't really care about every little thing being perfect. It's not like an S15 or something. All right, so we're gonna get the cans all ready to go and um, yeah, start painting. Hey everyone, Papa Smurf here. That's <laughs> no, yeah, I've literally got like blue stuff all over me, but it doesn't matter. Um, well, we've finished painting uh, the car, um, well, obviously except the roof, but it's actually looking really good having the whole car in paint, um, in all in one color. 
I was really like nervous and like that class put almost stacked it. Um, but yeah, I was really nervous. I didn't think it was looking that great, but seeing it all in one color, it actually does look really good. And this paint as a base coat is so shiny. Um, but yeah, having a look over the car, um, the boot is all done. But you can see what I mean. I don't know if you can see on camera how it looks a bit patchy like that. I don't know if it's just because it's wet and we need it to dry for a bit, but you can, I'm sure you guys can see that on camera. Um, that bit doesn't look the greatest, but I'm hoping that will go away when it dries and plus when the clear coat goes over it. I'm hoping I might get rid of that as well. Um, and yeah, but I'm, I'm pretty excited for the clear coat because the fact that it's so shiny already with the base coat, I can't even imagine like what the clear coat would do to it because it's already this shiny. But yeah, basically the whole entire car all around, it's all one color. So, and it's already got a bit of shine. So it looks sick. Anyway, look, yeah, overall, this job isn't perfect. You can still see a bit of scratches. You can still see a bit of, a little bit of damage here and there. And look, I don't expect it to be a perfect job. It's just gonna be a quick job. It's the only one who made runs, not me. Anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, I don't expect it to be a perfect job. It's just a matter of having the car all in one color. Um, and yeah, there'll be imperfections here and there. It doesn't matter. Um, and yeah, it's just a matter of painting it, putting some good clear coat and she's a goer. Alright guys, so it's been like a week since the last clip you guys just saw and I'm so sorry for filming like so sporadically. Alright, so since that last clip that you saw, we ended up finishing the roof one day after work. We just smashed it out and got it done. Um, but it's not like a proper job, we just painted over it. Um, like we haven't really like sanded back the bog like I wanted to and fixed the rust that came back properly I've just painted over it quickly just to get the car running and driving around um, Because Sydney weather like I don't know if you can tell it's it's rainy. It's disgusting and um, Yeah, it's it's not gonna be the best weather for the next couple weeks um, So the clear coat is gonna be on hold um, But I am planning on like as soon as the weather clears up in a couple weeks time I want to you know wet sand the whole car clear coat everything properly fix the roof properly um, And yeah clear coat the whole entire car um, but for now, the whole car is painted, and I'm gonna reveal it. <laughs> See that car I suppose just watching TikToks. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so for now, I'm gonna reveal the car to you guys, show you what it looks like at the moment in pretty much all one color. Uh, and yeah, let's do it. Alright guys, so this is how the Lancer looks at the moment and honestly it's come such a long way than when I first bought it pretty much a year ago for $900. Um, I'll do like a little compilation video of like some photos of when I bought it and, and the process and, and, and like basically how it's gotten to where it is today. Um, but yeah, seeing it like this is just, it's absolutely insane seeing it all in one colour in a, in a nice different, you know, light sky blue. It's insane and for a rattle can, you know, paint can, paint job, it's honestly turned out so good and I can't get over the fact that just the base coat itself is so sh like so shiny and, and bright, you know? Um, so yeah, I can't wait to see what it's going to look like with the clear coat. That's going to look even better than how it is now. So yeah, as I said earlier, the car's not fully finished yet. It, I'd say it's like 90% done. <laughs> like color support's just throwing a um, signature, signature scrunchie onto the car. Um, Anyway, but yeah, as I was saying, the car's not 100% done yet. There is still some things that need to get done um, to really get it properly finished. Like, you can still see, you know, the bog on the roof and a bit of the rust is still there um, that I need to take care of. But as I said, because of the weather and everything and, and just a matter of, like, having the time, um, I, needed to, I needed to drive the car, I needed to daily it, and I ran out of time. So, and the weather wasn't on our side as well. So, that's why we quickly just painted over it, just to get it, you know, looking half decent to drive around in. 
Um, but yeah, when the weather clears up, when we do have a lot more time in a couple weeks, we will properly sand this back, flatten out the bog, fix the rust properly, um, you know, properly paint that over, and then, you know, clear coat the whole car and have it pretty much perfectly done. But yeah, for now, it's still it's still doable, it's still drivable, and it looks great, you know, it's all in one color. So I'm, I'm very, very happy. I'd, I'd pretty much consider this, I'd consider this pretty much done. And so yeah, build-wise for the car, after obviously the clear coat and all that sorted, my main plans for it are to, you know, lower it, slam it, put some nice wheels on it, maybe a front lip and it should be pretty much done for a daily you know it already sounds good it would look good and um i really want to track this thing hey eh? i want to take it to one of those like wednesday night sprint events they have at eastern creek and you know just throw this thing around the track i reckon it'll be really really fun so that's my plans for this car i really want to do that as well um but yeah it's honestly good to see this coming together it's been a very very long time it's been in primer for like six months or something like that so it has been a long time coming but living a busy life with you know working full time and everything like that it is really hard to you know get projects done in a timely manner but i've tried my best for this i've tried my best to you know get this car done update you guys as best as i can um i probably haven't done that as as well as i've, I've hoped to do but the car has come this well come this far and it's looking this good so yeah i'm really really happy and i know i say it all the time but i really want to get back into the weekly uploads but yeah this weather isn't exactly you know that great to uh encourage the weekly uploads but I know, I always post on Instagram saying, guys, I'm so sorry for the lack of uploads, stuff like that. And everyone's like, dude, you always say that. Um, but yeah, I really do want to get into a regular upload schedule. I've done it before. Um, and yeah, I do have a lot of crazy good video ideas that I want to implement for the channel and some stuff on the That Car Life brand that I'm working on. So yeah, some awesome stuff's coming for the car, for both cars, the Silvia, the Lancer, the channel, everything. So yeah really excited oh yeah at the same time guys we've also got a, like a bit of overspray that we've got to scrape off and it'll come off with no drama so we're still going to clean that up and, and probably repaint this black but yeah we'll, we'll do that as well um but all in good time all right that color support what are your honest views on the lancer on the color and the whole process and getting it here because you've been a big help in this whole thing all the good spraying <laughs> she's so much better at masking and everything like that so um oh look i'll be honest i didn't really like the color when we first did it but after unmasking the windows and everything it's really grown on me and i actually think it's a great color um i think once we clear coat and buff it it will be so much better yeah buff and polish that's what it needs <laughs> after the clear coat so does this have the that car life support tick of approval <laughs> All right guys, so yeah, big thank you to all of you who've been so patient with myself, with the videos on the channel and, and the build as well. I really do appreciate it. Um, and I really hope you guys, you know, like the color and how the Lance has turned out. And yeah, there's definitely gonna be more stuff happening to this in the future and it's gonna look even better than this. So I'm really excited and I hope you guys are as well. All right, so I'll probably leave the video here guys, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the whole process on the Lance and how it turned out. I know that color of support likes it. <laughs> So yeah, coming up next on the channel, we're going to do some awesome stuff to the S15. We've got a lot of big plans coming up. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited for that. And you guys should be too. The Sylvia is going to turn out sick. Um, and yeah, obviously the Lance has got a few little things coming for it. And I do have some awesome big plans for the channel, some awesome videos that are going to be coming up. So if you guys are keen to see that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe um, for more regular content. Turn on that bell notification as well. So you guys will be notified as soon as I update, as soon as I upload. <laughs> Alright guys, so we'll leave it there. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that for more. And we'll see you guys next time on... That Car Life. <laughs>